Function and storage go hand in hand when doing a kitchen renovation. Your kitchen not only has to look good, but it has to be usable for you, the homeowner. Now I found some great solutions on Pinterest, and in this video, I'm gonna pretend to react to them like it's the first time I've ever seen them. Pull down, wall unit, so good. You'll notice these mechanisms take up quite a lot of space inside the cabinet, but what you're getting in return, I think offsets the amount of space that you're wasting. Because if you just had shelves in that cabinet, you're not gonna be able to reach them with any amount of ease. This makes it a whole lot easier. Here's another one. Now I like this one because it's very tall. Not sure I like the middle thing. It takes up a lot of space, but it's gonna take up room anywhere. You still have the bottom shelf, completely usable, and it's not affected by the pull-down mechanism. It completely avoids anything that's within inside that cabinet. I highly suggest that you look into getting these solutions if you have trouble accessing that space, and if you need that space for storage. They're well worth the investment if you're gonna make your kitchen more functional. Oh, just a mess, can't find anything. Okay. Oh. Okay, wait a second. I don't think that was any more functional than before. I mean, at least in this scenario, you can find what you're looking for. Is that an orange? What is that orange thing? Is it an orange? What is that? If you're gonna store oranges, that's an easy way to find them. Fill your boots. Just, just hooks. Ugh. Whoa. When you're trying to design a kitchen, you want those things to be incorporated into the kitchen and not something that you add on top of the kitchen later on. Hang your pots and pans, your scissors, just a mug. Let's just hang, let's just hang a mug. <laughs> Let's just hang a mug there. I don't like things hanging from underneath my cabinet, but if you do, this is a solution for you. Weight capacity, two kilos, okay. Okay, just peel and stick, easy installation. We like that, I like easy. That hooks on and uh, it spins around. All right, so that's gonna fall off, I guarantee you. Hey, if you wanna get something like that, put things on there that you can spin about, I just, I don't see that being a great solution. Now, I like to store my pots in a deep drawer or in a pullout inside a cabinet. That's the best solution in my opinion, but there's all kinds of solutions out there. Let's check out this one. So it makes your pots easy to access. If you wanna hang them, there's, you know, you could get a pot rack, but this is a pot rack inside of a cabinet. I mean, look at that. It's pretty cool. This is a way to reorganize your pot storage so that it's not taking up an entire great big drawer cabinet, which probably you're wasting a lot of space. You can streamline it into this narrower cabinet because pots aren't that wide. I think this is a really great solution. All right, let's look here. Onion drawer. How many of you store onions in drawers? I store my onions in the fridge, but maybe I'm not supposed to. I don't know. This is kind of cool. I can see this unit getting super dirty. That's my only thing with that. In all my years of designing kitchens, I don't think anyone's asked for an onion drawer. I love when I can go online, find something that I've, I've never seen before, and I've never seen this before. This is really cool. I love how the front of that drawer tilts out. You can get more things in there, oils or whatnot, and that the top drawer pulls out on its own and doesn't have a front on it, making the access to that unit even better. I like that. Lots of big drawers and lots of wide drawers there. Ah, this is super cool. A great way to store your plates. I just put my plates in and I stack them and that's fine. But this is another way to do it. Is this better? I don't know. You can get a lot of plates in that drawer. Different size plates, very easy to install. It's probably just an insert that you could put in your drawer right now. And uh, bam, there you go, plates solved. Above the fridge is such a difficult place to deal with. I mean, for this lady, even these pullouts are high. So you can imagine if that stuff was tucked inside that cabinet, which it would be, how are you supposed to get it out of there? At least this way you have access to it, it pulls out. I think this is a great idea. Knife block, spatula containers, storage underneath. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan of this. I think next to your range, having this type of pullout would be very functional. You can just grab everything you need. It's right there and away you go. Your knives are there, your spatulas are there, your cooking utensil things are there. How do you reach things that are hard to access in your kitchen? This is what you do. You insert this pullout with this cool looking mechanism that just pulls down and you step up there. Now, you're getting maybe 15 inches of height. So not a ton, but it is something and check this out, goes down the other side so that you can access stuff on that side. What do I think of this? Well, it's a great use of an inch and a half. If you have room for this in your kitchen and you wanted to incorporate something like this, I think it's definitely worth it if you wanna help access stuff that's up high. Huge shallow depth 
kind of hutch pantry with these bifold doors. I love shallow pantries. I think they are awesome if you have room in your kitchen or somewhere in your space for a shallow hutch pantry idea. They're absolutely amazing because you don't need anything to make them more functional because everything's right there at your fingertips. I think it's definitely the way to go. Here's the top three items that you should definitely think about getting in your kitchen right now. Oh, and I'd like to point out that I put some affiliate links in the description below for some of these items in case you're like, I really want that. Well, I've made it super easy for you to go find those so you don't have to go digging around the internet to find them. You're welcome. Coming in at number three is this. You definitely need these little beehive things because you need a place to put your oranges. Not a chance. Actually, my number three pick is this thing right here. I like this idea a lot. It's easy to incorporate, easy to install. You probably have a 15 inch cabinet in your kitchen that you could put this in right now. Number two, you want a place to store your pots. I think this is a great way to do it. It doesn't take up a ton of space. It keeps everything neat and organized. Pots have those little holes in the handles for a reason, so you can hang them. Number one's an easy choice. It's just getting those wall cabinets down to your level and these are the best way to do it. I think if you're going to invest in anything in your kitchen, this will definitely be the way that I would go. There's really a lot of great options out there, but having options isn't enough. You need to know what to do with those options. This video is going to help you do just that, help you to create and design a really functional kitchen for your space, and maybe you can incorporate some of these things as well. Onion drawer.